Dear friends, welcome to DBE for the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make copper 211 step surface and also how to make alloys on this catalyst. So you can see here, we can make one atom, uh, different atom here, M1 and M2, M3. These are the three different positions in this 211 surface. So we can make a different metal like rhodium, palladium and the gold, this different kind of metals to make single atom alloy catalyst on this 211 surface. So now we will see how to make this 211 surface copper and also how to make this alloys on this surface. So for that, just open your material studio software. So now we, we will import that copper bulk structures. So for that what you have to do just to go to file import. So if you don't, don't know how to locate these crystal structures just to go to your installation folder. There you can see material studio here you can see share from that uh, material studio share you can see structures. So this is the uh, pathway. Here we can see different kind of uh, materials. So here we, we will see that uh, metals. So here cluster also is there, pure metal also is there. Just we can choose pure metals. So here all the transition metal, all metals will be there. So just you can choose whatever uh, you like to make uh, uh, clear the surface. So here we will choose this our copper. So this is the copper bulk structure just we can click it to open so this is the copper bulk structure so now now we will make ball type uh, atoms for that just you can uh, right click go to display type here you can click ball and stick you can reduce stick radius to 0 0.1 some ball radius you can increase six or seven so based on your requirement so then uh, we will uh, close this so if you see here there is there is no bond between the atom so we can make bond between this atom for just you clicking this calculate bond if you click this one it will connect the all the atoms so if you want to know more just you can uh, click this uh, triangle things you can see different kind of things just you can go to bond option you can see different kind of things. just you can explore here the connectivity so now we will clear this surface into 211 step surface so we be, before that just we can uh, see the crystal structure details of this one for that what you have to do go to build here from build you can see crystals here you can click rebuild crystals so here you can find that uh, phase group and lattice parameters and others so this is the lattice parameter is 3.6147 for this copper so this is the phase group uh, 225 fm3m this is actually phase centered uh, cubic fcc so that's all now we will clear the surface so for that um, you have to go to the build option and you can see crystal surface go to surface here clear surface so i already tried one time uh, that's why it's showing default there so if you open freshly it will show here minus uh, one something kind of things so just you can put two one one so i already put there so before starting it should be like this 0 0.5 0 0.738 this is the things so now what you have to do you have to go to option not option so yeah before that it will be like this so we have to adjust this abc value u value so to make so just you can adjust into 0 0.1 so i already did one time that's why default showing 0 
so i'm uh, now i'm telling that you what are the things you need to do before cleaving this uh, surface so uh, put 0.1 just if, if you click this up here it will change automatically just you can uh, keep it 0.1 this is enough so here 2111 keep so here you can keep 0.5 uh, if you put this this is the lowest one so from here it won't go down so here 0.738 this arm strong so now you can click it click so now we have to increase the lines so just you can click like this it will increase step by step so we want only three layers so we have made uh, three layers like this uh, sliding type so if you calculate uh, from here one layer this is the second layer third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth this is the ninth layer so this is the things so we have uh, created uh, this nine layer we have created so now we have to make into a, a vacuum slab so this is important just to go to build crystals here you can see build vacuum slab so here i, I mentioned 20 that's why default is showing 20 just you can click build so this is our 211 copper uh, cleaved surface so this is actually one unit cell so if you want to increase uh, 2 into 2 also we can make so for that what you have to do go to display style go to lattice just you can increase a into 2 this b into 2 also so b into 3 also we can make so in order to make a like that this is useful you can also make four two into four so this is somewhat reasonable to do uh, calculations so now we will make this super cell two into four super cells for that again go to build go to symmetry and click super cell here you can see a2 b4 c1 so we are making two into four super cell just you can click create super cell so we have created uh, copper 211 surface so that's all so now we will make single atom alloy on this surface there are three kind of um, position is there here this is the top position this is the, the down position this is the slightly upper to this position there are three types of position is there to keep single atom allies so we first we can make the top position to keep your changing this atom just first you need to select like this it will, if you click here it will show yellow color then you go to modify atom modify element here you can go to periodic table here you can choose which single atom you want to add here so just you can click ruthenium if you want that click it okay so we have made ruthenium single atom allies on this copper 21 surface so if you want to make this atom just you can uh, highlight this again go to modify modify element periodic table and you can click EAU so here also you can make if you want to select this layer this layer so select it and again go to build go to modify modify element periodic table here you can go to F if you want so here we have added three different kind of single atom alloys. So likewise you can make 
any single atom molecules on the surface do your catalytic transformation. So before going to do any catalytic uh, conversion, first you need to optimize the this copper bulk structure with ISIF3. Then you can uh, take that uh, optimized uh, postcard file and concord file um, and convert it into C file and you can uh, uh, clear your surface using material studio. After cleaving this, you need to short the atom to Z direction. Then only uh, you can easily fix bottom some layer. You can fix and top some layer to relax. So, so then you can easily count the atom. You can easily fix the bottom layer. So, to uh, short that uh, uh, Z direction, I have made one uh, another video. So, I will put it into the description box uh, in this video. So, you can just look at that video uh, and you can understand easily how to short the atom and uh, do the selective dynamics, uh, selective dynamics calculations for catalytic transformations. So, that's all this video. So, thank you for watching my video. So, if you like my video, please like, comment, and share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.